na 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 um hello everyone what is up it is lock rules here welcome to another building tutorial in minecraft today i'm going to be showing off how to build a very generic medieval english style house specifically we're making a brie house currently brie is a project that me and the rest of the build team are working on so i figured why not incorporate a tutorial and work together to you know put a house into brie uh, this is Brew at the moment. It looks a little empty right now, apart from a few hobbit holes as you can see at the back of the distance. Uh, we've designed a couple houses which you can see floating above Brew at the moment. Um, there's a few dimes that we have elsewhere in the world. The reason that we just don't go and build straight inside of Brew right away is it allows us to move the houses about and make them all fit together nicely before committing to permanently location of each house. So today I'm going to be working on houses. Um, I'm not going to paste it straight in. I'm going to have this floating above Brew. So I'm going to create a place of glass, uh, POS1 and POS2. Uh, I would like to give myself more than enough space. It Probably I'm going to work on this surface again to make a couple more houses. So it's nice to have a nice big area to work on. So the next thing is the materials. In Brie, the houses generally consist of like rustic wood, stone, white walls. So we're going to get some spruce wood, some logs. We're going to need some spruce stairs if I can find it. Uh, there we go, and we're also going to need some cobblestone. And that'll probably do for now. Okay, so let's get started. So the best way to start any house is to map out how you think you want it to look. I'm um, thinking about it now, I don't really like how the dark spruce logs look, so we're going to want to try and make this fit to the design of the gates that we've made already. So we're going to use oak instead. So we need to map out the design of the house. So here is where I want the entrance to be. I'm gonna make it go eight wide. So I'm gonna to need to go two across here and leave space for the door, two. Then we'll want another log. I'll just swap these two around. <sighs> Okay, and we'll go back to place another log. Now bear in mind with this tutorial and any tutorial that you watch online, you do not need to follow what I do exactly or the person making the video is doing. We're just trying you an example, a rough template. If you want to, um, you can make it however you want. So you can just design it yourself um, with this in mind. Just use this as a template. I mean, copying other people is a great way to learn how to get better at building but you're better off utilising your own little twists and thinking about how you can do things a little differently. Else you might as well just you know, download the house and paste it into your world. Um, so always put a little bit of your own creative flair into the design. Oh, we've got one of, one of our builders. Hello, Peter. <laughs> so I'm gonna be trying to work how we can make these meet and still fit in the design of the oak pillars. Yeah, but it's not gonna work out. So we're going to have to go four across so each time. Uh, there we go. Works nicely. And then we'll go on to the back. I'm just trying to map out in my head how far we need to go across to make the back of the wall. Uh, it's fine that we're not going three across each time. It, it won't really matter too much. To be honest, people probably won't even pay much attention to the back of the house. So we've made a rough design of the base of the house. Now we need to know roughly the amount of space the house will take up. Um, this bit here is seven across while the front is eight. This means the roof will not line up perfectly, which is actually intentional. It'll make the house look slightly better in my opinion, and it's a style that I personally want to be going for. But you maybe you might want to make the roof line up, all you need to do is make them go seven or eight across. Um, the idea is this house is gonna be an L-shaped roof, which means the middle bits will meet up and we've got that square bit to the side which will create like a side window and another section of the roof which will connect onto the main roof. The hardest part of any build is making sure that it all fits together at the end. So for me, the hardest part will be making sure these roofs align right at the end. So let's put a little more detail into the entrance. I'm going to design something slightly different. 
So we're using the cobblestone stairs and uh, we're going to use some slabs as well. And it puts a bit more depth into the map as well, which makes it look a bit cooler. It creates a small porch area, which is quite cool. You could probably do this for any different style of house. There's no reason why you just subjective to a medieval brie house. And now we'll go around and create a little bit of height to the map. Just gonna go all the way around. So we're just building all of these three up each time for now. And we'll just keep going around. I could use world edit here, but I don't think I'd actually be saving myself any time because of how I've got the pillars of the oak in between. Um, but it's not a problem. Um, I don't really mind just doing it manually. Just keep on going around. This is definitely the most exciting bit of making any house, I'm sure you would all agree. Um, I probably will go back at the end and I'll probably put a bit more detail into this bit here. But for now, I just want to build it up. Um, create a bit of a base so we can continue with working on the house. There we go, and that's the first level done. Um, then I might want to extend this out slightly. So I'm just thinking it might look good. Um... Sorry for my long pauses, I'm just trying to think about how to do this bit here. Um, what I want is this portion of the house extending out. So let's start by placing a couple of stairs holding this bit of the wall up. Um, it also makes that the build is actually going to be structurally stable as well, which it looks better to the eye. And we'll have logs going across this bit here. This definitely does make it look a lot more three-dimensional. It's not just a flat, boring wall. Um, we've now got bits of the house which are overextending. And the entrance actually goes inwards. Um, creates an even bigger porch, which is nice. It gives whoever lives here shelter from the rain while he fumbles to try and find his keys. Um, we're going to use plain glass rather than tinted, stained colour glass for our windows. So let's try and make the window panes now. And now I'm trying to think about how I think the roof will look. And we'll create a bit to the side of the window, place a few bits of wall. We want to create as much detail as possible to the front of the house because, you know, this is a bit that everyone is going to see. So we want lots of detail here, more so than the rest of the house. We cannot have just a plain wall. This is why we're putting a window in. Um, and we're going to try and put quite a bit of detail into the window. Um, the roof would start at this point here. It looks okay. And we'll need to do the same on the other side. I keep talking about detail, but I mean, making a simple window is fine as well. The window I've got is quite simple. Uh, I do plan on adding a bit of detail. I might make a, a box of flowers underneath or I might use some trapdoors to make some sort of shutters for the window, but um, this is how I've got it at the moment. My brain is firing at a million miles an hour. I'm trying to think about how I want to design this house while talking to you guys and actually doing it. So I'm um, sorry for rambling a little bit. Just trying to design this in my head as I go. Um, thinking about it now, I'm wondering if it would look better if this bit of the window actually extends out because I don't really like how flat this bit of the wall looks. Yeah, I've decided we're definitely going to have this bit of the window extending out. Um, so let's do that now. We'll just get rid of the bit of wall that we have already. It doesn't look natural and I think it'll make the roof look better too. A lot of builders will tell you to map out the roof. Um, sorry, map out the entire build with wall first. Um, this method works brilliantly. Personally, I like to build from how I feel. Um, I mean, I, I just like to build how I go along. I mean, I make a lot of mistakes, but that's just personally how I like to build. I've got to find the spruce slabs. I, um, I think I'm going to put them underneath. But I've got the, uh, the spruce stairs as well, so it kind of extends out a bit and it's holding it up. Um, it definitely puts a bit more, I don't know, it just looks nicer, um, which is why I do it. Um, and then we'll build up the wall to the side, and I think that looks ten times better. 
and I don't think we need to put any more detail into the window now. I made a big mistake there. Oh, we want the wall and then the window. Oh, I think that's enough. What I will do though is I will put a roof over the top of that. But we'll start and try to make the rest of the um, rest of the house first before we do that. I think that now looks a lot better. So we need to work on the roof, and we're going to start by going two up. Then we're going to put a bit of height into our roof by placing a block. This makes a house look more Nordic than English, which is great. Uh, a Nordic slash Skyrim style roof looks far more interesting than just going straight up and meeting together like a bit of a triangle. Um, playing around with a few different styles will make your house look a lot better. There's no straightforward way of doing this though. It doesn't really matter how far you decide to raise the roof or if you do it at all. Um, it's down to personal preference and adding your own creative flair. So um, I went two more along, then placed a block up, then another block along, then another block up, and then these meet in the middle. Because there's eight along and there's a gap of two, I just placed two stairs meeting together. And there we go, that's roughly how the roof is going to look. Yours may of course look slightly differently if you decided to do any variations on the roof. We'll continue building up the side of the house and we're going to add a little bit more detail into the walls. Once again, do this however you personally see fit to do it. Um, I'm just trying to think about how uh, it will look good for my one. Um, I'm thinking about possibly placing another window pane in here, uh, of course we're not going to raise this one out, this one's just going to be flat. Um, as I said before, this is the front of the house, we want as much detail as possible in the front of the house, because what everyone is going to see, and it, yeah, it's just the most important thing. So we want the roof to look good, we want the front of the house to look good, we want the entrance to look good, everything just needs to look good for the front of the house. And, and the rest, of course, does need to look good, but it's not as important to put as much detail in. So now as you can see I'm putting um, a roof over the extended window here, um, this will, well without doing so, it will just look silly really. So we're just going to put an extended window coming out here, I'm just going to put a few slabs underneath so that um, the, the roof of the window looks right. We can really see it's taking shape already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way around the side of the house now. First off, like the front, we need to have a few logs extending out and we're going to have these logs meeting in the middle uh, with that supporting log and we're going to do this for the sides too and we're going to work our way all around. Uh, what I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to place um, just a normal wooden block in between these logs where they're going to meet up and now I'm trying to think about what design we can do for the side of the house. We know that we're going to have the um, main bit of the corner, you know, the, the square bit. That's going to be a window. Um, we can place some glass. We can also place some glass and make a window here too. And we can do that all the way around. Make sure we surround all of this in wall. And we'll do that all the way around. Make the window here as well. Very important. Now that doesn't really look right, we should make the windows go two up instead. Yeah, we'll definitely go two up, allow more sunlight to get in, and you know, a tiny little window doesn't really suit this style of house, so we'll, we'll do that now. Um, and then let's place some logs over the top of this to complete the design. You could probably get away with not bothering on the side of the house, because you're probably not going to see it, but you definitely need it at the front, where we're going to have the main uh, two windows for the corner. Change of mind, I don't think we should have windows um, there at all. I don't think it suits. Um, but making changes is completely fine. Um, that's what I personally do. You could have designed the house and you would have known exactly what you want beforehand, but I think it's great to just do it as you go. Um, so now, how can the roof fit the side of the house here? Um, to make the roof section, um, when half cut away by the main roof, is quite difficult. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to design this on the other side even though I know it's going to be deleted 
especially considering when we need to make the interior we're going to utilize as much space as possible and we're going to need to remove all of that excess roof so this bit that we have here wouldn't actually be showing so we'll just get rid of that now uh, it's just so that we know how the roof would have formed and, and how it would have met in the middle uh, else it would have just been all all completely off now thinking about it, I'm going to get rid of that bit there and I think we should go up and replace a block like we did for the main roof. Um, I think it will look better um, for this bit um, and I think it will mean that it will meet better with uh, the, the roof at the back which we haven't started on yet. And we'll just continue building the roof down there. Okay and that seems to join onto that roof okay. So this bit here will now meet in the middle. Now we need to put a bit of detail to the top of the roof where the two bits will join together. And that's the roof just about done. Now I'm gonna end the video here. It's been about 15 minutes and my voice is starting to hurt. So I'm gonna take a short break and continue part two. It should be up very soon after the first video is released. And I'm gonna put an annotation right over the screen now to go to the next video. Hope you enjoyed the first part. Please watch my second half of the video. We'll be showing you how to make the roofs join together. I'll be adding a ton more detail into the house and making lots more, more windows. So see you in a second.